There we go. You can see Maestro and Dan. Oh, all right. It's time, baby. Sonny can see Maestro and Dan in a hype video they just saw, but it's okay. Yep. It's time for the king of the restreams to do what he does best, and that's scream in your ear with a jank setup and hopefully CPU usage keeping it down. But of course, you're watching Twitch.tv says monthly Tetris, where the keys of the kingdom have been given to me to host this historic event, as this is Euro Clash, presented by Euro Friendlies. And uh, what better way to kick off this historic event than with a title match between an American and a European. Oh, they're still European, I guess. Here we go. Introductions, please. Uh, on the left-hand side is the challenger from the great U.S. of A. Looking to start a revolution and uh, send the Ritz back where they came from, taking away that beautiful bronze. Ready to show you that Das is not dead. It's the Maestro! And on the right, as you can see with the belt, is the reigning, defending, undisputed upstarts champion. Showing you, hey, guess what? That's what I'm going to do. Da -da 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 with my fingers on the keyboard. I'm a keyboard cheating champion. Will he be able to have the Brits uh, be in power and keep the bronze overseas? It's 2010 And of course, with me to do the comps is the outstanding host that does it every couple of weeks on Thursdays for all you Euro friends out there. Not going to pull any punches and let you know how he really feels about your gameplay. It's uh, Sonny! Sonny, yes! Here we go, baby. Hello. I can't match that energy, so I won't try. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's why you're sitting shotgun with me. I'm going to take us all the way to Funville City. And I'm sure this is going to be a fun one. But, Sonny, you might know... These two guys had a war of words before this match was coming up. A lot of things were said, and uh, certainly the belt in the Upstars division has gotten way, way crazy. Let's go take a look and hear from our two competitors on how this match might shake down. Hello, 20 Dan 3 and all classic Tetris fans. This match for the Upstarts Championship is more than just about beating Dan's little candy ass and wearing that glorious golden belt on my waist. I am tired. I am tired of the disrespect that I get that Maestro is not a really top-tier, competitive, classic Tetris player. Doing exactly what you're supposed to do, just old man strats, line it out. He knows, he's got to practice. 589, and there it is, 590. Nicely done, my struggle, fist pump. Happy about that one, takes game, but number two. I'm tired of all of the disrespect that the DAS playstyle gets. That all these tappers and rollers and cheaters just feel like DAS is just some stupid relic of the past that they don't have to really contend with and grind out. They can just, oh, I'm just gonna roll my way to victory. Maestro recently got a max out. He's been working hard at DAS. He, a former tapper, like 1.1 with tap. And then once uh, King convinced him to switch over to controller, kind of was trying to tap on that. Didn't feel the same. Still played very well that way. But he's like, I want to go play Das. Das seems so much fun. I want to play with Das. Because it's not ass. But the thing that infuriates me the most is every time somebody tells me, oh, I wish I could have played Maestro when he was a keyboard cheater. Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you 
that the best version of Maestro as a classic Tetris player is standing in front of you right now. Oh, there's an early shift. That got him out of his seat practically. He got the long bar for the flat burn setup. It burns away. But that, oh, that left side's gonna be impossible. And he can't believe it. Oh, man, he couldn't believe it. Mice holding out. Lombard's gonna come. We get a Tetris 492 at the transition. About 60,000 points. Oh, damn, with a mission, but he can't hit the team spin. And he's gonna give it up. Claps there for Mice. So, Dan, every time you tap, every time you get away with bad stacking, every time you, you know, d -d 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 those fingers, I want you to feel that guilt. I want you to feel the mental advantage of my DAS technique under your skin. And when I'm done defeating you at Euro Clash, I want you to come join me in DAS. Come join the DAS Brotherhood. And the same goes to all you tappers and rollers out there. I want all of you to witness this. Bear witness to this and come join me because the DAS revolution is here and I am the DAS revolution. Look at mine, all pumped up, happy AF, and let's go over there. Bragging right now for the maestro, hung in their tongue, took advantage of the mistakes from Dan. And a big, big win for the maestro. Wow. Certainly has a claim now to perhaps challenge the champ. Hello, Maestro. You say you're tired of being told that you're not a top tier Tetris player. You could have been a top tier Tetris player. You were flying with Hypertar and decided to limit yourself to DAS. You have no one to blame for not being a top tier player than yourself. Maestro, oh, he missed off the J. This is going to be so difficult. No, oh, the square is going to hang to the right too. Oof. Ah, oh, there you go. He had a chance. He had a chance. When people say that they want to play the people cheat to Maestro, the top of Maestro, they want to play a competitive match, which is what they would have got with the old you, because they would destroy the current you just as I'm going to do. And the fact that you're even in this title picture is a disgrace to all of the Upstarts division. It's disrespectful to all of us. We're the future of this game. And you coming in with this outdated player style, trying to take my title, that's what's really infuriating. There you go. Oh, damn. That's a PB right there. Who's popped off, baby? Finish it. Oh, he kicks with the taps the D on the left, and that'll do it. 706 for the champ and 20 days make sure there's no repeat of game number one from the first month he's got it 968 what a score and oh did he do a little throat slap there oh my word it's real burb game number one goes wow. to dead oh my word these are the worst pieces to go to transition with we won't even get there paid for the top out at 391 god awful pieces at the top no long bars, so for any relief, you see Peyton had a dirty triple waiting to go, and the long bar just didn't show. Dan at 491. Just too strong is going to take game number two. And the 2 nil lead. The upstarts are the ones that look to the future. You chose to remain in the past, and that's why you're not fit to leave this division, and I am going to make sure that that never, ever happens. Because of the Euro Clash, your DAS revolution dies. Well, there you go. What a war of words there. Unbelievable. Crazy stuff. And that's just the Upstarts division, Sonny. That's uh, just the Upstarts division. Imagine the other I, ones. Yeah. I can't imagine the... Uh shit talk that's going to be going on for the uh 
for the main friendlies title later on. Of course, yes. And uh, breaking it down, let's take a look real quick before this match gets started. These guys are ready to go. But one more thing to address would be the online facts. It's a new addition to Super Show, so we can get to know the players a little bit more. Better for those that are not familiar. This is the Maestro, the challenger on the left, plays with Das. If you weren't paying attention in that promo video, the Das Revolution begins with a 1,067,000 BB score, has a 26 and 22 friendlies record overall, and uh, plays uh, notable achievement has a Das and a tap max out, as uh, we heard earlier Dan talking about uh, the old Maestro. And the interest is uh, playing a piano. As, uh, if you want to go to Mice's YouTube channel, take a look and see all of Mice's great uh, instrument usage of the piano and uh, beautiful songs he plays all the time. He's very good at it. Yes. On the right is the uh, champion, the upstarts uh, champion, 20 Dan 03 from the UK. That's why it's on the Euro Friendly today. Playstyle is the keyboard cheating tap of the variety. Personal best is a 1.115 million score. Friendly's record is a outstanding 25 and, uh, 24 and 5 is perhaps one of the best win percentages uh, of all time. I'll have to double check that. Notable achievement is, of course, the Upstars champion defeating Ian Keith at the last Super Show back in April. And of course, Sonny, major interest is crushing Dassers. He's very good at that. Well, we'll see if he's uh, ready good, uh, very good at block game. He's got the Tetris Gym of V5 ready. Mice gives it the ready in the chat. Sonny, you're the host of your friendlies. Three, Got him down. Three, two, one, Tetris. Finally, it's a bit, get the countdown accurate when it's the chat's delayed because I'm not the one typing it. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's true, but it's okay. Usually, you would, okay. yeah. you know, count it down just fine because you're the host of the Euro Friendlies, which people can watch on every other Thursday at uh, usually around uh, 1700 UTC. Correct? Yeah, usually a little bit earlier this week, but uh, generally, yeah. And ooh, Maestro started off with a little bit of trouble. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And Dan's also started off with a slight bit of trouble. I think a misdrop, but it's uh, that's worked out pretty well in the end. And a beautiful T-spin from the Maestro, going to clear away a triple with the long bar. And ooh, Dan, uh, long bar dependent. Oh, but he gets the bar in time. It's okay. You know it's what that's okay. called? It's called. Uh, Tapper RNG, I believe, right? Yeah, that seems uh, that that seems like Tapper RNG right there. Of course. Well, Maestro is not getting Tapper RNG. Of course. Why would he? He's he's a DAS player. He's said in the exactly. promo there, Sonny, that it's time for the DAS revolution to take place. He wants to be the forefront runner of it and uh, try to bring the uh, old school play style back into some competitive form. Very tough, tall order to do so against a amazing champion in Dan. Yeah, not not an easy feat, but he's gonna he's gonna try his best, and I guess we'll find out if it is or not. And look at that Tetris Sun Row two, nice job by Mice. Only fifty five thousand through the start of this one. Not the best way to begin in yeah, uh, a well. game number one situation. But he is center welling, and it's uh, going pretty well now. Nice efficiency. Dan, not quite the center well. Dirty Tetris there. Very sad. And former Dasser, your, your buddy, Mr. Burb Wizard. You call him Lustin. Yeah. Uh, he was very, very pleased with Mice's dig right there. It was a very strong dig for Mice to stay alive. And that's the important thing, yeah. too. You never know. You never know. Right, Sonny, you never know. what Tetris is such a strange game, and uh, we've seen plenty of times on Euro Friendlies that early top outs yeah. can happen. Yeah, Euro Friendlies, the number one place to watch good players fail miserably. <laughs> it is it is almost like a curse over there. I, I, yeah. I tune in pretty much almost every Thursday, uh, every other Thursday, and I go to watch and say, do we have any recommended viewing? You're like, nope. <laughs> nope. Nothing. Sid and I've played, topped out in level 18 four times in a row. <laughs> well luckily we were able to scrounge one yesterday he did uh he did have a good uh game number three yesterday versus uh, somalian so of course we'll see sid nev in action uh later tonight in the championship match that should be uh, a lot of fun 
Yep. 281 for Dan, 199 for Mice. So Mice has kind of stayed within the game. Is uh, trying to keep it under 100,000. I'll take another Tetris to do that. But Dan just... Look at that beautiful stacking from Dan. No wonder he's at 24 and 5 on friendlies all time. Yeah, keeping it clean, keeping it safe. Keeping it nice. That's what he's doing. Another Tetris for Dan. We'll go to 329, a Mice. Mice bro. Yes, the spin. Back-to-back -back spins. The Z spin in the center and the L spin on the right. Fix that board up, making it look nice and tight. And uh, going to stack up on that left side as every dasser should. No triple for Mike. Going aggressive. No, not taking those triples. Going to save those burns. And there's the long bar. Patience perseveres. 273 for Mice, but Dan, 397 over 100,000 point lead. Mice will cut it back yeah. a little bit. Dan, do, not Dan. Maestro does need to uh, save save those burns because he is behind by quite a bit around 100k in terms of pace though dan has got into a little bit of a dig pretty high up on the board now he is getting the pieces to solve it but uh it is giving maestro a little bit of a chance to close the gap Good pieces here for Dan can get him out. Good placements. And there you go. Simple. Right side is open. Just looking for a long bar for a score. Going to take a safety burn with that T and a couple of extra burns just in case. 412 for Dan. 369. Hey now, hey now, hey now for Mice. Yep. Well, yeah, but there we see the dig that Dan got into. Even though it didn't seem that bad of a dig, it did, it did let Maestro close in a bit. It was around 100k. Now it's only around 50k in terms of pace between them. Transition's coming up soon. Yes, indeed. That uh, pesky 19 is coming up. Advantage to Dan, as most would say, because of the keyboard cheating hyper tap. And yep. uh, there's a nice simul Tetris from both. Yep, 419 perfect. to 503. Now, Sonny, you are you are a keyboard cheater, too, I believe. Well, I mean, you've been doing some well, rolling I, lately. but I have been. On you, occasion, have been yes. you have been known to keyboard cheat. Uh, yep. Talk about Dan and uh, the great stacking that he can put together on these fast speeds with that keyboard. How how difficult is it? I never tried playing on keyboard uh, touches. I mean, for me, I was a butterfly tapper, so I that's basically just impossible to do with the same method on controllers you do on keyboard. But if you're a conventional hyper tapper, uh, keyboard and controller are fairly similar. You shouldn't have too much trouble switching between them. But, uh... Playing Tetris doesn't get any easier regardless of what method you're using, necessarily. You can get higher scores with roll, but you still need to be good at Tetris in the end. And speaking about being good, both of them are doing a, a nice job here. Mice making a comeback, 530. Level 21, Dan at 575, level 21. Anybody's ball game here. Dan's left long side. Bars. <laughs> that right side now. Yeah. He's not going to be able to get anything over to that left side, is he? <clears throat> Can't get over ah, the J to the right, right either. That's... Yeah. 577 and Maestro just completes the chase down there with that Tetris. As Dan's swapping out. How about that? Mice! 594! Das has prevailed for the opener. He was down. Over 100,000 points at one time in level 18. He's come back storming red hot. Looking strong. Another Tetris to finish it out. 632. Mice will take game number one in the championship game. Oh, baby. Things are heating up. Yeah, very strong early showing from Maestro here. Keeping it clean on 19. Scoring Tetrises. Making a statement. I think we're getting a Mullen game here from Mice. Well, you're allowed one, right? You're allowed one. Yeah. He's showing Dan that just because he's Das, he can still play 19. But there we go. He opts to top out. He's not unleashing his full power yet. Not yet. Either that or the king is just really delayed. <laughs> one of the two. One of the two, yeah. 
We've got the ready from Maestro in chat. We've got the ready on the screen from Dan. So, three, two, one, Tetris. So, very good game number one from both. Yep, very exciting game. opener. Very exciting opener this time. Yeah, very much so. And very strong chase down. 100k behind at 100 lines and takes the lead at about 160. So, very strong efficiency in those uh, last few lines of 18 and early 19 from Maestro. Most in certainly. spite of a rough start. But yeah, this game, Maestro not having a rough start at all. Yeah, coming out uh, very crisp and clean. Early days, though, 45,000 to 24,000 as Dan will take some burns on long bars coming in. I'd be remiss if uh, we didn't give some shout outs here because as uh, the show's been going on, there's been some subs happening. I want to thank uh, the uh, people that I've seen the subs from. Also, I think Marts gave some bits. Of course, got to shout out Marts. Mr. Friendly himself is here watching along as he is beginning his road trip, I believe. Uh, he's on the road. He'll be in Boston tomorrow. So we'll maybe talk about that. Who knows? But uh, thanks to, of course, uh, 6464 with a subscription. We also said Polar Bear, Peyton on Tetris. Subscribing again. We know you love this channel. And, of course, Pumpy Heart, man. To put back all this hard-earned money is uh, here. And, uh, of course, ping everyone in monthly uh, Discord when pretty sure we weren't supposed to. But, you know, we can do whatever he wants. Nice throw. Nice bar flat there in the dig. Should be able to reopen it soon if the pieces allow. And they do. Into a Tetris. Is behind by one uh, Tetris, but... That can change with one small drought, so fairly, fairly close at the moment. And I think T Storm 100 bits as well. Thank you so much for adding to that. It is uh, always appreciated. If you want to gift subs to this channel or sub yourself, remember you can also use Amazon Prime. If you have one of those, you can use your sub here on Monthly Touches. Get all the bears, all those beautiful bears redesigned by Hydrant Dude and of course, the ever lovely uh, decider emote who doesn't want to go around flaunting that. Maybe we'll see some deciders tonight in one of these matches here, Sonny. Maybe. Hopefully. Keep my fingers crossed. Yeah. That just are both the mice at 180, Dan at 240. Dan has taken a bit of a lead here while you're shilling all of the uh, CTM stuff. My, uh, Maestro's been lagging behind a little bit. 203 to like a 209 after that burn. 266. So, again, a little bit of Mice having to just maintain the board, having to play a little bit safer, knowing the heights that he can play at with Das. You got to be very knowledgeable about that. Dan can be a little bit more riskier and go higher, just like we saw a little bit right there. Got the long bar in time for the Tetris. Dan will go to 290. Mice will go to 235. So about a 55,000 point difference till Dan hits another Tetris to go to 313. And another one. And then another bar immediately after as well. Not Tetris ready for that one, though. And just like that, it's a 100,000 point lead, pretty much. <laughs> just turn, yeah. turn so quick, Sonny. Turn so quick. It does. When you get the bars, you can uh, you can make a lead out of the most inane of situations. When you get the line. Right. Yep. Yeah. That the classic. Of course. It'll never die. Never. Let's talk about mice for a second. Uh, mice clearly had uh, talked about that he used to be a keyboard cheater. Dan brought it up in the promo too. Uh, you don't really see too many players go from, you know, the older play style of Daz to, uh, you know, keyboard cheating or tapping or whatever. You don't, you, you don't really see yeah. people going from that style to the older style. Uh, you know, have you've you've played Daz as well? You know, what is your preference? Yep. Uh, well, considering that uh, I've played Daz and I don't have a max out with Daz and I have a max out with the other play styles. Uh, DAS is pretty hard, that, that's what I'll say. It's not easy to get good at, that's for sure. Now, do you enjoy playing it at all, or is it just like, I hate this? <laughs> uh, depends on my mood. If I just want to play Tetris, then it's fun. 
If I want to play good Tetris, then uh, definitely steer clear of it. That's oh, my ethos. Mice will tell you different. Mice at 369 again. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Dan at 484. So kind of getting a repeat of that first game where Dan had a nice strong lead going into transition and then Mice having to do the chase down work. So we'll see if Dan can hold it together now. This time had some struggles on the 19. Wasn't able to get pieces up Mice to the left and right. Getting a little bit of a struggle on 18 here. A couple missed drops into a... Uh awkward situation, but might be able to turn it into a dirty Tetris here. Still Tetris ready after that burn. And then buffering, we'll just have to find out where he is once it stops doing that. Of course, yes. Lots of internet packets going on. But Dan, he's hit transition. And, uh does get over to the left, so should hopefully be able to survive this. Ooh, but not getting great pieces. Looks like he might be done here. Yeah, 563. And Maestro has hit transition at 408. So here we go. It's chase down time again. Yeah, 563, 131 is the final score. 563, 131. Mice, if you can get to 564... Game two will belong to you, and you'll be up 2-0. Das Revolution will be looking really strong all of a sudden. It's a little bit of a role reversal. The tapper topping out in 19, and the uh, Das player having the weaker transition score, but getting the chase downs. So, I say the chase downs. We haven't seen if he completes this one yet. Correct. We're making assumptions here. Yeah, of course. Nice uh, job by Mice to get that lumbar all the way left, so not to put it into that column two, because that can be tricky sometimes. The dancers don't get that lumbar over all the way, even though it was low enough to do full charge. Can be spicy. Here comes another Tetris for Mice. We'll go to 532. We're looking at about a Tetris and change here, Sonny. Yeah. He most certainly can be up two games to none. He's in a little bit of an awkward situation. I'd struggle in this situation with Das, but Maestro's a lot better than me at Das, so hopefully he won't. With some uh, unique burn uh, setups there. I really like it. All Dan can do is just watch here, Sonny. Not much else. On, try to root for RNG to foil yeah. Mice's uh, chase down, but he is uh, super clean. Level 24, plenty of lines. This is tournament strat. Just line it out. That's the way they used to do it back in the old days. Yeah. It's safe and it's reliable. But it isn't as fun. No. And that's why all the kids that play now don't do it. Right, because you got to go go out with style, right? Exactly. We are 3,000 points away. 564 is the needed score. And uh, that'll do it, that actually. Is... Yeah. Okay. Mice has what done it. Say, yeah. Says that's two, Sonny. That's two. That is two. Surprisingly up 2 0, some would say, but others believe in the mice. And we could be seeing the championship change right off the bat here, Sonny. How crazy is that? Be pretty uh pretty surprising to see a sweep from Maestro over Dan. Dan's been playing some good Tetris over the last few months. We've got the ready from Maestro in chat. We've got the ready on screen from Dan. And there we go. Sonny, go ahead. Once uh, the numbers go. Once the bot. There we go. Three, two, one. Tetris. Bot having a little bit of a sleep there, but it's fine. Well, it's so just... woken up. It's just like joining uh, my, my PC. It's fine. Yeah. And Mice was doing all that uh, great touching, not even looking at his board there, Sonny. So, uh, yep. amazing job by him. Impressive play. World's best blindfolded Tetris player. SV Nestris is here. Zoltan is here. Zoltan's coming up next, Sonny. We're going to 
see that match. Zoltan and Poe, the two best no row yep. players in the world, will clash to see who is truly number one. We will. It's, uh, I don't know how, uh, I don't know, I guess consistent these top no row players are at getting high line games. But, uh, yeah, I. I know that they can get some pretty crazy line counts, and uh, I don't know. The stacking for that stuff is like, you need a brain the size of a building to understand some of it. And clearly that will exclude me, because I... <laughs> the, my too. my personal best is a uh, 11 line. So actually, that was with rolling. I was doing uh, rolling. Ooh. Impressive. Yeah, no roll rolling. I could, I could do a little bit of that. Let's go. And Pumpy asking how many Mullins in an O-Row game. We'll talk about that uh, when we get to that. There are some rules that we will uh, have on screen to display. So we'll talk about that once the match begins. Right now we're focusing on the Upstarts Championship. The champion is down 2-0. This is uh, certainly not what Dan was uh, dreaming about when he got noticed that the rematch was coming up. Him and Mice played about a month or so ago, Sonny, on a yep. uh, Friday night episode, uh, shortly after Dan had won the, the championship. And, and Mice beat him. Mice beat him and catapulted him to the chance to say, hey, I want to play Dan. I got the right. And he's making the most of it tonight. He really is. He's playing good Tetris, though. He is behind by one Tetris, which... Uh has sort of been the theme throughout the match so far. Dan takes a bit of a lead in 18, but can't get it going on 19. Though Dan does have quite the S-Spire there in the middle of his stack. Yeah, those always are a little monkey's ass, as Rory would say. Yeah. But they can be unavoidable at times. You just You gotta just go where the piece is taken. You're trying to avoid blocking wells and things like that. And certainly... Dan just trying to go about it and say, maybe I can get the right piece to get out of this pretty soon. Maybe in, uh, think about setting up a little dirty. No, we'll just burn it down safely. Playing safe Tetris. He doesn't want to top out again in level 19. And especially doesn't want to top out before then. So keeping it as safe as he can. But uh, it has let Maestro actually take the lead on 18 for pretty much the first time this match. Though Dan does take it back. Mm. Then Maestro takes it back again. So, pretty neck and neck, really. Lead switching over pretty much constantly. And this time, yeah, for the first time, we see Mice with a lead on 18 past the halfway point. 321 for Mice, 284 for Dan. Looking for a JP's to help. Not going to come. This Lombard will do just the same trick. It's a triple. And there's a Tetris here for a score. You can see Dan really kind of just that body English of his, Sonny. Like, he's putting everything he's got in those, those placements. Yeah. He's uh, putting in the maximum effort. He's really trying his hardest. He's using 100% of his brain. That's something you said your, your pals with, with Dan is one of the very few, if not the only, as I think you mentioned, only Tetris yeah. uh, player in your personal Discord. So what do you think Dan would feel like if he loses in a sweep to Mice uh, in, in this type of match? Um, bit salty. Uh, bit disappointed. But I think he'd uh, be looking to take it back. Win, win against Maestro as soon as possible. Try and redeem himself. Well, if he's going to try to redeem himself, then word on the street was that uh, when the promos were airing, uh, they cut their own promos, and we had that aired on last Friday's show. Uh, Dan had said in the chat, Mice, I'll make a deal with you. If you beat me, then I'll go in and I'll DAS for the rest of the month. I think the month of August or qualify with CTM this month using DAS. He'll commit to the play style of DAS for one month, Sonny. So he's uh, now that's gonna not be... backing down. Yeah. I feel like playing Das for a month, unlike with Roll, where you roll for a month and all of a sudden you're a 1.3 player. With Das, that's, uh, if he gets to like 800k, 
then that'll be pretty impressive. So, we'll, we'll see. But, first Meister needs to win. And right now he is behind in score once again, though. And he is in a bit of a dig, actually, right before transition, coming up basically immediately. Three lines left to burn, just trying to get that right side open before the changeover. Dan also got a changeover a little high here, Sonny. This is trouble in a bottle. Yeah, that is not great. And yeah, the pattern continues. Dan, better transition score, but topping out in 19. This is Mice's chance, Mice. 489, 951. If you can get to 490, you'll take this in a sweep and be the new champ. Oh, man. What a revelation. He's cutting in a little bit close here, though. Yeah, it's a slightly, slightly dangerous situation. Oh, but, but he's getting some it beautifully pieces. as well. 489. And it's there got it! Go. Sonny, he did it! He's done it. The Mice. Dash player prevails. Mice came in and did exactly what he said he was going to do. The Das Revolution begins. And it starts with the Maestro. Oh, so pumped. Sonny, what a shock. Look at the heartbreak on the right there. Dan can't believe the fail. His 19 betrays him, and Maestro does it! Bring das the bell. Is clearly, yeah, das is clearly the superior playstyle. That is the takeaway here. Unbelievable. What a, what a way to start the show, Sonny. What a way to start this show. Oh my word. And let's Crazy. go over to a winner scene that I have, of course, set up. But got to do this last second. Move on over there. And there he is. Sonny. It's a brand new Upstarts champion. The Maestro has done it. What a victory from Ice. Here at the Euro Clash, totally forgot about lower thirds this entire match. Oh my word! But they'll get them now. Look at Mice. He's popping off, he's, Sonny. Yeah, he is talking. He's clearly, he's clearly pumped. He is talking a lot of smack. He's saying, "What happened, Dan? What happened? All that smoke that was bottled up in Mice has just exploded, and he is victorious, Sonny. Amazing job by him, and he's carrying the belt." And he'll take it to Clash of Champions, where there's another contender waiting in the wings that says, it's my turn now. And that's your other buddy that you know and love so well. A fire-breathing dragon is waiting. Exciting. GG's, mice. Absolute friggin' GG's. His pop-off is nearly as long as your ones are. Well, we learned it from the best. Of course. <laughs>